On October 26, that was Thursday last week, a Hamilton Technology Yield Maximizer or QMAX.TO and Hamilton uh, US Equity Yield Maximizer uh, SMAX I started trading. And of course, it did open here at, uh, at $16. And this one here also it did open at $16, as I've uh, I predicted or I mentioned on my previous video before this two fund came to light or came to the market. So you can see here uh, the uh, the price range of this one is a sixteen or uh, it's fifteen eighty eight uh, to uh, fifteen or five and S max fifty two week range is fifteen uh, seventy nine to sixteen oh one so fifty two week range meaning is pretty much from Thursday to uh, Friday so this this two fund only has been trading only for two days so this is the volume and this is everything we can know about that but. For someone who wants to invest with these two funds, who wants to buy them because one yields more than the other one. But then these two, they're pretty similar, but also they have differences. So in this video today, I'm going to analyze uh, Hamilton Technology Yield Maximizer ETF and Hamilton US Equity uh, Yield Maximizer and see what are the differences and what are the similarity between these two funds and which one will be best for you to invest your money. So if we look at the highlights, we know here initial target, this one is 13% and yield about monthly uh, distribution um, and exposure to large tech companies in the US, active cover cost strategy. And when we look at this one, it yields about 12%, pays monthly, uh, blue chip US equity exposure with asset, asset mix similar to the S&P 500, right? Uh, we'll look at the good fit for who, uh, both of these funds will be good for person who is looking for monthly income, who is looking for tax efficiency, and uh, also someone who is looking for modest growth plus income and uh, wants their portfolio to have the reduction in um, volatility. So they both have the same uh, strategy, the same everything in terms of uh, their highlights. When it comes to investment objective of these two funds, so we look at the investment objective of QMAX is designed to attract a monthly income while providing exposure to portfolio of primarily large cap US technology equity security to reduce volatility and augment dividend income. QMAX will employ an active cover call strategy. So that's the same objective as this one as well, because this also will employ an active cover call strategy. This does not use leverage. This one does not use leverage. So both of these funds does have leverage that gives uh, more less riskier because as I said uh, in my previous video, the more you when you have uh, when you introduce the leverage, meaning you are um, you are introducing also extra risk. So to mitigate the risk, um, you don't use leverage. So performance, we don't have performance right now because they're pretty uh, new. So but I will show you in a graph which one has outperformed better based on the data that I have. Uh, so right, the price right now is fifteen seventy six. This one is fifteen eighty eight, and uh, the day range is between uh, minus twenty four cents. And this is eighteen cents. So we look at the yield though. So this yields about thirteen percent. This one yields about twelve percent. So when it comes to yield, you see this one has more yield, um, and it's kind of weird because this is technology. Technology you always less has less yield. But in this case, technology stocks, they have more yields or technology ETF has more yields. So we look at the um, what makes these two funds difference. So the difference between these two, both of them, they have the same uh, kind of what makes them difference. And as compared to other type of uh, covered call ETF. So many covered call ETF write option out of the money. These two here, they do add the money. Okay, that was one uh, distinguished between these two and other type of cover call ETF. Um, and the other thing that distinguished between these two um, with other ETFs that do QMAX rate option on 30% of holding uh, and then allows 70% of the uh, stocks that they invest in to grow. And SMAX does the same strategy, of course, use 30% uh, of the portfolio to write a cover call and 70% for growth. So they are both equal in that uh, rhyme, realm. And when you come to uh, now, when you come at the sector, uh, sector, look at this one here. This one has uh, communication 80%, I mean, 8%. We have consumer discretionary, we have consumer staple, we have energy, we have financials, we have healthcare, we have uh, industrial 
real estate uh, technology and uh, utilities are four percent so it's a pretty much like s p 500 you know s p 500 has more exposure in technology um this, and that's exactly reflects that so you can see here's 32 percent we look at the consumer discretion is only 12 percent we have uh healthcare is 12 percent and um so as a lot of technology as well but when it comes to this one is a pretty much 100 percent technology now let's look at the holdings we can see this one has uh, 15 stocks this one uh, this etf invests in uh, 25 stocks and they're pretty equal weighted this one here also they are uh, 15 equal weighted as well we can see majority of these stocks they're all uh technology companies and very uh, few uh telecommunication companies so they have apple adobe we have apply material or oh, we have advanced Microsoft, uh, advanced micro devices, which is AMD, Amazon, Birdcom, Alphabet, Intuit, uh, Meta Platform, Microsoft Corp, Netflix, Nvidia, uh, Qualcomm, Tesla, and Texas Instrument. They all uh, Texas Instrument, of course, is one of the cheap company, so it does the same thing as Nvidia and also AMD. So everything here is technology. So pretty much a hundred percent technology. Uh, when it comes to this one here, it's more of like a broader. Um, mix of everything as i've showed you in uh, portfolio construction here you know you know majority of these uh, stocks actually they are technology but we have you know companies like um you know johnson and johnson we have like uh pepsico you know procter and gambles so yeah those are consumer discretionary um fund details now we came to uh the detail of these two funds so we can see uh they are both actually trade on toronto stock exchange uh tsx and uh ticker symbol is qmax and this one is x max so there are a lot of uh, you have to be pay attention when it comes to max there are a lot of max when it comes to hamilton etfs right there's a s max there's a qmax there is um umax there is um h max so you know pay attention to these max which one are you buying um but if you watch this video of course you're gonna know the difference when it comes to inception date uh it's going to be october 25th uh 2023 that was on wednesday because the usual inception comes after the market closes uh on wednesday and then of course start trading the next uh, the following day which was thursday october 26th so this one also we can see here is uh, 25 uh, October 25. So they both had the same date of inception. Um, you can see here uh, investment style is U.S. technology cover call. Investment style here is U.S. equity cover call. So the difference here is U.S. equity. This is U.S. Uh, technology cover call because it concentrate more on technology versus this one is a more a broader market. Even though they only have 25 uh, 25 uh, stocks asset under management right now uh, this one has one million and this one has accumulated so far one million dollar uh initial target is 13 percent plus this initial target is 12 percent plus they will be distributing monthly um and when it's come to management fee it's a pretty uh equal so they're 0.65 so pretty low for active uh, cover call uh, etf and rating is medium to low this is also medium to low so that's that's it about when it comes to these two uh cover call etf so which one should you buy we're going to analyze on the data that we have uh by the way if you're the first time just make sure you subscribe because on this channel i always talk about this type of uh you know investment um and, and comparison between two funds and also their news and and anything related anything related to pretty much your finance i always talk about that so you know make sure if this video also uh give you any um uh meaningful knowledge just make sure you also give me a like so actually one more thing i need to cover is a distribution because this fund they just brand new right now so when are they going to start distributing we can see here distribution the first distribution this one will be uh, uh 17 or 18 cents this one will have a uh, 16 cents and that's estimate which is a pretty pretty accurate when it comes to a uh, yield uh, the uh hamilton always have the same whenever they offer that that's exactly what they're going to pay for the first time and the first time they're going to pay will be uh december 7th so if you buy today or before december 7th that's when you're going to get the money i mean ex-dividend date is going to be on 29 uh, november 29 so if you buy two days prior to that date you will be able to receive those dividends or distributions so that's it but 
when you are an investor who wants to buy between the two, you might be wondering, I mean, they look pretty much the same. This is a technology, this is S&P 500. So which one should you lean? Which one should you buy? Uh, we're going to look at my um, a chart here uh, that I put together. So this is, if we look at this one, this is like a ETF battle score card is five out of five points. So we look at QMAX and SMAX and we have a score here. Uh, I have cut uh, geographic. So when it comes to geography and risk and strategy, this QMAX invests in U.S. large um, and then U.S. large, of course, technology. And when it comes to SMAX, invest in U.S. blend. So it's a large company, but blend of all the uh, bigger companies kind of, right? You know, when it comes to fees, they're both equal, 65. So when it comes to diversification and geography strategy, S Max wins this because it has more diversified versus this one only invest in one category of technology and large companies. Um, when it's come to fees, they both have the same equal, so that's a draw. We call it a draw. When it comes to diversification, which one diversify? We look at S Max has twenty five stocks. This one has fifteen stocks, and these twenty five stocks they are not only just uh, one type of stocks. They are different sectors and you know different mixture of you know sectors and allocation so this s max wins on that category when it comes to performance we look at the performance um q max because it represent technology so i look at other etf like uh qqq and we look at the voo uh, when it comes to a performance q max in a short period has outperformed uh, S&P 500, you know, based on technology uh, and that return will be within five year period does return about 24% annually. This has only a return about 17%. That's only stretched for five years. But if we extend more, even for 10 year period, uh, we've seen technology has outperformed S&P 500. But of course, what you getting apart from that uh, is that QMAX will be more volatile or technology is more volatile versus S&P 500, which is less volatile. But end of the day within five to ten year period uh technology which is represent qqq versus uh, s&p 500 voo will have um qmax as a winner here when it comes to yield and distribution this one qmax uh, right now uh, will be uh, yield or distributing a 13 percent uh distribution and this one will be uh, uh only a third uh, 12 percent plus distribution so in that category of yield and distribution of course q max wins so out of five or five we give a scorecard so q max has get 2.5 uh five points and s max has get 2.5 out of five points because you can see two two and then here as two two and then there's one draw so it's two point for each and then draw of course they divide one we get two two on each and that and the winner is we call it a draw so that's all you know so if you want to invest in, in these uh two etfs depends on your strategy if you are one or more volatile and more growth you go with qmax but if you want more just steady and be on average return with less volatility you would go with s max or you can blend both of them 50 50 or or 20 50 and also maybe you can buy a bond that also made a video about it so that's all for today again if you find value in this video today just make sure you give me a thumb up and if it's your first time you haven't subscribed in order to be in the stay in the loop just make sure you subscribe so thank you very much for watching today till we meet again on our next video which is coming soon bye bye